I know how to use body language, how to use voice modulation. I also know how to brainstorm. But what should be my speech topic? <sighs> Do you face this question? Hey there, I'm Nancy Shah. I'm a trainer, public speaker, anchor, voiceover artist and founder of Speaker Circle. We started this initiative to help people improve their public speaking skills. We conduct our interventions online and you can also be part of it. All you need to do is fill up a Google form. You'll find the link in the description. But in today's video, I'm going to answer the most difficult question. What should be the speech topic for my next speech? So let's get started. You might be wondering that I need to prepare a speech. I want to give a speech, but I'm really confused about what topic I should choose for. Let me give you a few hints on how you can do that. First, ask yourself few questions. What is something that you're concerned for? What is something that you love the most? What is something that you hate the most? What is something that you are frustrated about? What is something that you really want to change? What is something that you are bothered with? What is the problem that you are facing right now? These are the questions from which you might get the answer of the topic that you should talk of. Another way to explore a speech topic is to go within. You can talk about your personal life, your experiences, your family, your friends, your personal experiences that really moved you. Your professional life, your career, your work life, your experiences over there. And third, your social life. How you consider society in general? What are the things that you have observed with that? And what do you want to talk about it? This can be one of the way to explore the topics. You can also talk about your hobbies, let's say your photography or traveling or your next travel plans. You might not have visited some place to talk about it, but you can always say that I really wish to go to Ladakh one day and you can give a speech on that. Or if you have already been to Ladakh, nothing like it. Share it in your next speech. The third way to explore a speech topic is to go outside. Look out for periodical, journals, newspapers, magazine, books. That can give you references about what things interest you. Apart from it, you can go to websites and YouTube videos, listen to other speakers, listen to some of the speeches that we have already shared on Speaker Circle YouTube channel. That can give you some reference. you can check is what is currently prevailing in the world the current affairs what are the issues that you think that you should talk about of course at speaker circle we refrain talking about religion politics and sex but any other topic is most welcomed once you do all these three things you will find so many speech topics and then the next question would be what to select out of this in that case i would suggest you to talk to your family members friends colleagues discuss with them you'll have another perspective and you'll also get to know what interests them because you need to make it relevant for your audience so select a topic that will be generally interesting to people you three different techniques to help you identify your next speech topic which is unique as well as something interesting whatever first thought that you get in mind is always basic general common and that's not at all interesting you need to break it down into different levels so our first technique is breakdown in this technique what you're going to do is you are going to break down this topic to different levels at least up to five or six levels let's say for example I am thinking about something related to how to reduce weight or reduce fat or being healthy. Now, this is very general, very common, very basic topic. Let me divide it into five levels. First, joining a gym. Second, doing morning walk. Third, dieting. Fourth, yoga. Or fifth, aerobic zumba or something like that. Let's say I am more interested in talking about joining a gym. 
now when i divide that again into five labels it will be like there are people who just pay for the membership there are second type of people who are chief guests they are uh, who do not go to gym regularly there are third type of people who are really regular and would go to gym every day there are fourth type of people who will just go on weekends and there are fifth type of people who are moody like they depends on their mood they don't follow any particular system now once i've divided this now let me break down again into another five levels what it can be let's say for example i am going to talk about people who are regular at gym what are the different five types of people you have first who are the evaluators who will always evaluate the people who are coming there and observe everybody the second one are the heavy workout guys who will actually do a good workout every day and make others jealous of it the third type of people are uh, time wasters who are just there to observe others and have fun they are not interested in gymming out actually the fourth type of people are like show off guys who will wear all different outfits every day will post five stories on instagram on their workouts and the fifth ones are the lazy one they'll just not do much roam around here and there and pass their time so these are the five types of people you have now let's say for example you again break down into different topic again break down into different level and you will find something interesting let's say my speech topic out of all this can be five different types of people who come to gym so through this technique you will be able to come up with a unique topic which is interesting and you are also able to narrow down the topic the second technique that you can use is five whys you need to ask this question why for the five times on the same topic for example why people go to gym because they want to reduce weight why need people need to reduce weight because they eat too much and they are fat why people are fat because of eating junk food why do you have junk food because of the current trends why do i need to follow the trends when you ask this questions again and again you'll come to the root cause of the problem and then you can address that root cause the third and the last but not the least the technique that i want to suggest you is to brainstorm whatever topic comes to your mind just brainstorm it we have already created another video on how to brainstorm a topic we'll share the link of that video in the description you can check it out there i'm sure it will be helpful so that's it for video thank you so much for watching it i believe that it would be helpful to you try it out do share your suggestions comments and feedback in the comment section we'll surely go through it and yes we create videos on public speaking tips on regular basis do subscribe our channel to not to miss out any updates from speaker circle thank you so much bye bye